Gabriel is actually a southern boy. He came up on a transport um, because he wouldn't hunt down south. And he ended up at the Somerset Regional Animal Shelter that's right down the street from our house. And he stayed there a couple of weeks and one family adopted him on a trial. So they had him, they were on their first day and a teenage girl was walking him and something spooked him and he bolted. Well, that was the beginning of his saga. He was lost on his own with a leash attached crossing major highways in, here in New Jersey for 42 days. Despite an extensive search, Gabriel traveled over seven miles across Somerset County, enduring ticks, dehydration, and an elbow injury, and losing 25 pounds in the process before he was luckily found. One day, uh, a gentleman in Martinsville found him in his chicken coop. They called the shelter, and, and the shelter immediately went and got him. Now, his original family felt that he was a little too much for them to handle, so they brought him back to the shelter. Um, and he needed elbow surgery on having been maybe nudged by a car or something. The three sisters took Gabriel to a local vet to have the elbow injury operated on. But after finding additional heart problems, the triplets turned to the specialists at North Star Vets. Gabriel is a Basset Hound that was diagnosed with an arrhythmia called third degree AV block. And basically that causes the heart to be beating too slow and it can make animals feel weak, lethargic, and they could even have passing out episodes. Uh, the only way to fix that kind of arrhythmia is by actually placing a pacemaker, which allows the heart to beat at a faster rate that's more compatible with everyday activity in life. The way we place pacemakers now in veterinary medicine is actually really minimally invasive. Using fluoroscopy, we can actually go down a jugular vein and place the lead wire of the pacemaker into the right ventricle. It's then attached to basically a battery pack that sits in a pocket under the skin. And this way we don't need to open up the chest. It's very minimally evasive and dogs go home the next day feeling great. He is so happy. He wakes up wagging his tail. He rests very soundly. Happy. His appetite it's is a very fabulous. happy boy. He is a delight, an absolute delight today. And he loves the way when he arrives, everybody's Gabriel's in the house, you know? So he feels he's a VIP patient here. Yeah. <laughs> he is. Yeah. Doing our procedures is always very gratifying. Um, it's it's so such a wonderful feeling to be able to instantly help an animal feel better. Um, really as soon as they wake up from the surgery, they feel great and they're ready to run around. After all Gabriel has been through, he's now relaxing at home with Georgette, Gail, and Jerry. He was near death when they found him. He really was. I think it's a miracle that it's, he survived and he came with the name Gabriel and we thought that was very perfect. We, yeah, we didn't name him, but he came with that name, so we just thought we'd yeah, keep very, it. very, very fitting.